Hello everyone, this is David at Weekend Gamers and today I'm going to go through a quick tutorial on some miniature painting. Specifically, we're going to have a look at how to quickly go through a mob of orcs in one sort of painting session. Yes, it's very possible to do and to do it in a very short amount of time. Before we get started, I just want to quickly showcase the kind of results that you'll get from this sort of um, painting tutorial. So I've got a few looters just to um, sort of give you an idea, followed by a couple of um, pictures of some of the orc boys that I've been working on. Now this paint method is going to be using mostly washes and a few sort of the layer acrylics, so a bit more of the water down paints. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So to begin, we'll base the miniature white. Next we're going to apply a brown wash, um, I used Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to coat the entire model with this wash. And as you can see we've got a nice even coat and the paint very watery and it's filled in the recesses and that's going to help out with shading on the later stages. Next wash was BL Turn Green and I used this for all of the orc flesh parts on the model. Now I know washes do tend to take quite a while to dry, but the good thing about batch painting is by the time you get to about the 10th miniature, the first one that you started with will pretty much be dry by the time you get round to it again. So it's kind of like a conveyor belt system. Next I used the metallic base paint, lead belcher, and I dry brushed this on the orcs, weapons and armour. And there we have that. It's looking a little bit bright at the minute, but we'll soon make short work of that with the next stage. So for this stage, we're going to apply Null Oil to all of the metallic parts that we just painted, and Gortho Brown to the pants, gloves and leather straps for the armour. This is going to get, come out as a much more leather effect later on when we apply another layer of wash, but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself there. Next, we apply Evil Sun Scarlet to the shirt of the orc and to some of the armoured parts. Now the great thing about these layer paints is they are a little bit more watered down than the base acrylics, so the shading from the original wash still comes through a little bit. So next is going to be one of the few base paints that we're going to use is Rhinox Hide and this is more or less just going to be used for the boots. I left some part of the boots a little bit unpainted near the edges or the, the top edges of the boots and that should give it a bit of an effect later on making it look a little bit like kind of frayed. Next we used uh, Oshapti Bone for the teeth and Necron Compound to dry brush on the weapons and armour components of the miniature just to give it a bit more highlight so it doesn't look too dull. And to add the finishing touch one final layer of Agrax Earthshade just to sort of uniform and bring it all together. And this also gives the orc a very dingy, dirty look as well. And of course, you know, more brown, it's always going to be good. And if you're a real orc player, if you believe that it's going to work, it'll work. And here we have the finished product. Average time to paint the miniature was around about two, maybe three hours at the very most. I've also found that this paint method's not only just applicable to orcs, but to other miniatures as well. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. This is David at Weekend Gamers, saying happy gaming, and I'll see you on the front lines.